Hello, hello, my name is Marcos Santos. I am from Salvador in Bahia, Brazil. I'm very happy to be here at the LP headquarters to share with you guys this contemporary, fresh approach of playing multiple Brazilian instruments with only one player. Before we get to playing, um, I'd like to suggest to you to call your friends and get together with them. Start your own Brazilian ensemble or join community uh, Brazilian ensembles in your area. So then you get to study the traditional uh, elements of the Brazilian rhythms before you get to apply to playing by yourself. Okay? Let's talk about the setup. You can set the drums in this way. To my right side, you can see there are these big bass drums. They're called surdos. And it's to my right side because it's the side of my strong hand. And so therefore, I'm holding a surdo mallet with my right hand. And that way, I can move more freely through the drums. To the left side, then, you're going to have a caixa. And in front of the caixa, a hepiki or hepiniki. The surdos are assembled in front of you in a way that the lowest surdo is on the far right, the high surdo in front of you, and the middle surdo in front of the other surdos. They are tuned a fourth apart from each other. Today, we're going to be talking about a rhythm from my hometown called Samba Reggae. In Samba Reggae, the low surdos are played like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here's another variation. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. All right? The high surdo then is actually improvising throughout the rhythm while the other low surdos are keeping the downbeats happening. So let's choose one variation for samba reggae that you guys can start playing straight away. And it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. All right? Then on your left side, the repique or repinique is going to be playing this pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So you're going to see people in Brazil playing traditionally like this. One, two, three, four. What I would like to suggest to you is to take to another level and make it even more contemporary where you can fill the, the space in between the accented notes with your left hand. So then it will sound like this. One and two, three, four. Eh. All right. It gives that characteristic Brazilian swing and that 16th note drive. Both parts together. One, two, three, four. Aha! Another variation that I would like to share with you guys is a variation that you can use with the caixa. Uh, we're going to now use a samba reggae variation that is closer to the, its reggae roots. So it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and... A surdo variation for this particular samba reggae pattern sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one. All parts together. One and two and three and four and. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to check out my article at the LP newsletter. And now the sky's the limit. You can use this information and take Brazilian drumming into another direction. See you guys around.